Hey, this is Harpsy, and today I wanted to show you how I made a saw synth in one of my songs. I guess I didn't really make it. It was a it was a preset that I found. I just kind of adjusted it a little bit and added a second layer. So yeah, stick around just to see how I did that. And I guess before I continue, I'm not a professional or anything. I don't know all the technical terms. Just kind of play it by ear. But uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is. I'm going to give you as much advice as I can, so hopefully you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the video. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Alright, so this is, this is the synth that I have going on in the song. And this is how it sounds in the context of the whole, uh, the whole entire composition of this part. So yeah, it's pretty bright. It sounds real nice, and. I guess we'll start with uh, the preset that I found. I forgot what pack this was or how I found it. I don't, I don't do too well keeping track of all that, but I did find it and it sounds like this right here. So it's a pretty nice sounding synth. To begin with, the saw right away sounds really bright, but here, let me turn the effects off. So, that's how it sounded without the effects. And, I mean, it's pretty, it's a pretty simple sounding, uh, pretty simple sounding sound. <laughs> and, uh, I don't think I did really much to it. I, I can't remember. It's been a while, but, yeah, I might have tweaked the release times. The decay, sustain, things like that. I'm not even sure if I adjusted their cutoffs. I might have. I might have done that. Uh, so I don't. I don't remember exactly. But I mean, here are the settings if you want to copy them. But yeah. So that's what I did. It does have this feature here with the velocity. It, you can see that right here. That if you play the chord softly, it's gonna have a. Uh, the filter is gonna be more closed the lighter you play and then the harder you play it's going to be more open so i mean it doesn't really matter here i just liked it where it was and i left it the the real point here is uh, the way that i set up the 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 preset and what i mean by that is in part a i have my stereo width kind of narrow on all of them on every oscillator they're quite narrow and that's because I wanted this particular part of the synth to be more in the middle so that's what I did there and I kept it more narrow versus the second layer of this synth which sounds like this Yeah, so that, it sounds way more wide and just fills in that extra part of the sound that you need. So together, you get this. So without the wide, you see that? Or without the middle part, of the synth it sounds it doesn't sound quite as full. And it sounds way more full when you have both of the layers together. And I know this method is it's very basic and I guess there's tons of tutorials on them. But this is this is my version of the way I do it. And what I do typically is whenever I find a sound that I like, I don't go and start searching for a whole ton of other sounds I kind of just stick with that like I like this sound and all I did was I duplicated it I cloned it here the exact same sound and then I started 
widening widening out the the second layer so that it could sound full so so all I did here is and we could have this playing while I'm doing it so so all I did is took the original sound and I brought the stereo all the way up the signal brought the voices all the way up same with the second oscillator I brought that up all the way as well the stereo and the voices then in part B I did the same thing again stereo and here I just added another saw sound so to give it even more voices and to widen it out even more and then additionally I brought up the detune so that it, it almost becomes kind of muddy in a way kind of like not as clear as the sound before and then I ended it off with some chorus just brought down the dry wet a little bit I think that's pretty much it I think that's all I did let me see yeah that's all I did and I just brought this the volume level up so if I match the volumes let's see There it is. So that's all I did there. And so instead of going on a whole entire hunt for a new sound to for the wider part, you could always do this with any sound really. You just duplicate the original sound and you widening it widen it out, add some detune to it, and you know, drop a little bit of chorus effect on it. And you're pretty much done. It doesn't have to be in silence. It can be in any plugin that you like, in any synthesizer that you like, if it has that option, of course. I'm going to just delete that. Yeah, so that's how I did that. So to give it a more powerful effect, I bust them to the same bus. So three and three. I'm going to delete this one. This is another. And then I had him go here to channel three and I added all the effects to it. So I'll take you through the effects as well. So for the effects, I started off with an EQ, which was pretty simple. And so this is what it turned to the sound. Made it a little bit brighter, a lot brighter actually. And then I gave it some wave shaper and with the wave shaper I you know made the mix very very 9% so that's not so harsh because if you if I bring this all the way up begins to sound very distorted you don't want that so I brought it down so that it just gives it a little bit of an extra taste just kind of fills it in it's almost so subtle you can't even notice it but it does make a difference then I put some reverb on it and I kind of like using this trick here I use the patcher for the reverb because I'm only applying the reverb for the higher frequencies I like it going into the reverb with higher frequencies rather than cutting it here so that's what I did I ought already I have one this is like a like a wire I guess input output so I got that going this is just the main sound and then I added the reverb to it so it sounds like this now so if I didn't do this little trick here this is what it would have sounded like
and so I just didn't like it too much low end for me for what I was going for the sound that I wanted to the, the sound that I wanted and yeah that's what I did there cut off the low end of the reverb oh and of course you do have to make sure that you do want to make sure that the dry is all the way down because otherwise you're gonna have two signals going in and you don't want that this is only the wet part of the reverb going to the second in, uh, through the second channel here I guess it's channel one channel two you can look at that way instead of ha instead of doing this outside of the channel section I, I prefer doing it like this it's just easier I like it like that and then I added the filter for the certain parts and of course Kickstarter for the pump effect for the side chain that's it and then I did add one more little extra to it I added a another sound on top of these two sounds and which which is this little lead here and it's playing like a higher part of the chords it's very low very subtle but it's just kind of defining the chords so and what I what I mean by the higher parts of the chords so see here I have my chords back here, the chords that I was playing, and all I did was I copied this part of the chords, the top part of my chords, and I singled them out, the, that melody, and I just brought it into this, into this uh, synth here. And together I have this. So that's without the extra kicker, without the extra lead sound, this is with it. It's, it's again it's it might be so it might be so quiet you could barely hear it but it's there if I bring it up it starts to hear it okay. so it's there it's definitely there and that's it now we have a powerful uh, synth that's gonna sound good in stereo and in mono in the mid channel and in the side channel there it's going to sound good and I do, I do like doing that a lot i like using uh i like using let's see here fruity stereo shaper yeah to see the sound uh in mono to hear the sound in mono again i apologize for my talking and my verbiage I don't really know too much about all the vocabulary and you name it. Anyways, here you go. So here's where is it here? The, the mid. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. So now see, it sounds good in mono and in stereo. It's because I have those two layers. That's what I do a lot with my sounds. I, I, I cross-reference it uh, to see how it sounds through a mono, mono single. And that's what you could do with this fruity stereo shaper. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know if I missed anything else. I don't think I did. But that's how it sounds. So I hope you enjoyed that. And give me a thumbs up. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah you could also tune in on my spotify you could listen to the song again it's called crazy and i have a couple of other songs i was working on so hopefully i'm going to continue making these videos as much as i can and uh again hope you enjoyed it have a good day